Hi everyone, this is part two of the helpful hint of advanced mathematics by Brown, chapter two test. On page 115, we're going to start number one, uh, number five, all the way up to eight. Five, six, seven, eight, that's four questions. Some of it ha does have two parts. 5A is roughly very simple. Let's do 5B. Absolute value of x is less than 3. Well, we know how to do this problem. We set up the equation. Negative 3 is less than x is less than 3. We drop it down. Without the absolute value, it has to be bigger than negative 3. So, how do we graph this? It's going to be a vertical line at x equals 3. Don't forget, it's a dashed line here. And then x is going to be smaller than 3, but greater than negative 3. So it's a band of width uh, with dashed lines. If it was equal to right here, don't forget, it's a solid line. Let's look at number 6 now. Uh, let's graph number A. x is greater than 0. Well, x equals 0 looks something like this, but with the dashed lines. Okay? And then 3x plus 4y is less than, or less than 2. And uh, greater than 0, so it's going to point in this direction. And then we're going to well, let's just do it this way, the easy factor form. Put a 0 in for y, put a 0 in for x. When we plug in 0 for y, x is equal to 2 thirds. When you plug in 0 for x, right there, solving for y, we get 2 over 4, which is 1 half. So 2 thirds 0, it's going to be right here. And then 0 comma 1 half, suppose this is 1, it's going to be 1 half right there. And it's going to be a salt, I'm sorry, a dashed line. And then it's going to be, uh, let's solve this out for y. So 4y is less than negative 3x plus 2. Divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4. y is going to be less than negative 3 fourths x plus 1 half. Notice that it's 1 half right there. And it's less than, so we're going to shade in the bottom side. And where does that cross? Right there there's a solution. Part B is very simple too. Uh, I'm not going to do part B because you should be able to graph the parabola and the y equals 6 minus x is a straight line. Let's do number 7. 7 is an interesting problem. 7 says here's 1 comma 2, 3 comma 2, 3 comma 3, Excuse me on that. And 1 comma 4. Well, it has to be everything up above this line. What's the equation of this line? Does anybody know what that point is? It goes through 1 comma 2. 1 in the x direction, 1 in the x direction, and 2 in the y direction. So, this is y equals 2 line, right there, boom, y equals 2. So y is, we're going to shade the upper portion, so y is greater than 2. That's one of your answers. That's number 1. How about this way? What's the equation of this line? x is going to be 1, so it's going to go through x equals 1. But it's going to shade to the right, so x is going to be greater than 1. Oh, I forgot. It has to be equal to because it's a solid line. Don't forget the equal to here. Equal to here as well. And obviously, what is the equation of that line then? That's equation 2. Let's look at 3 right there. It's going to be x is less than or equal to, and goes through 3, 2. 1, 2, 3, 2. So it's going to be x is less than or equal to 3. That's number 3. And number 4, I'll let you try to do that on your own. you got two points, you can create the equation of the line, right? Hopefully.
Let's look at number eight. An automobile manufacturer bakes out automobiles and trucks in the factory. Da 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 da. Um, I'm sorry, I cheated on this, guys. Uh, I had my daughter do it. Uh, do your homework, Jackie. Sorry. So automobiles are here, and trucks are here, and this is shop one. This is shop two, and that's your profit. Uh, you make three automobiles on shop one, six trucks on shop one, shop two, do four automobiles, four, you can make a maximum capacity of 150 on shop one and maximum capacity of 120 on shop two. And the profit on this is 350 and then 500. Define your variables before you start. X is the number of autos. Y is the number of trucks. So it's going to be X here, X here, I'm sorry, yeah, uh, I'm sorry, X, X goes with the auto, X here, and then Y here, Y here. So the inequality is, you got to write all of them out. Jackie did not uh, do a couple of uh, inequalities. 3x plus 6y has to be less than or equal to 150. What's the second equation? 4x plus 4y has to be less than or equal to 120. And the other two constraints are x has to be greater than or equal to 0, y has to be greater than or equal to 0. And if you I use the cheat method on this. It should be right over here. This is uh, 25. This is 10 comma 20. And this is 30 comma 0. And of course 0, 0. If you make 0 trucks, 0 cars, obviously your profit is going to be 0. So these are your constraints. And we're going to look at what our um, um, objective function is. What's our objective? It's obviously going to be maximizing profit. We want to make the most money possible, don't we? So the profit function of x comma y, profit as a function of x and y is 350x. plus 500y. And using these two points, 0, 25, 30, 0, 0, 0, 10, 20, it's going to maximize it at, let's just plug them in. Profit of 0, 0, 0, 0 cars, 0, 0 automobiles, 0 trucks, you end up with 0. Profit of 0, 25, Plug it in here, 0 into here, you get 0, 500 times 25, uh, 125, 0, 0, 12,500. Let's plug in profit of 30, comma 0. 30 times 30, 30, 150 is uh, 10,500. And profit of what was the last one? 10 comma 20. It's good. 10 times 350 is 3,500. Plus 20 times 500 is 10,000. And your profit is going to be 13,500. So that's actually your profit, and you're going to try to maximize it at this point, which is 10 automobiles and 20 trucks. Good luck on your test. Thank you.